August 30th marks the International Day of the Victims of Enforced Disappearance, an issue deeply rooted in the contemporary struggles of human rights. In a world where the rights of the vulnerable are under constant threat, those seeking asylum at the U.S.-Mexican border are confronting challenges that many cannot even imagine. For them, the terror of being abducted, losing touch with their families, and vanishing without a trace isn't a mere possibility. It's an ever-present danger, a grim reality that countless individuals face due to the horror of enforced disappearances. This phenomenon isn't a relic of a bygone era, it's a recurring nightmare under the Biden administration's asylum ban. Imagine the anguish of families left behind, seeking answers but greeted only with silence. Such stories aren't confined to distant lands, they're unfolding right at America's doorstep. The election of President Biden was seen by many as a beacon of hope, especially for immigrant communities. His campaign vowed to usher in an era untouched by the biases that tainted former administrations. The ending of Title 42 seemed like a positive change, yet the introduction of Title 8 quickly overshadowed this hopeful start. The United States, by imposing harsh penalties on those who dare to cross outside designated areas, hasn't just made the path to asylum more challenging, it's made it dangerous. The increased militarization of the border, with agents more inclined towards punishment than compassion, further deepens the chasm of despair for those in search of sanctuary. Meanwhile, technological advancements symbolized by the CBP-1 app with its contentious facial recognition technology have been weaponized, leading to racial profiling, language injustice, and the heartbreaking separation of families. It's a stark reminder that technology, in the wrong hands, can be a tool for oppression rather than progress. Compounding these challenges is the U.S. policy mandating individuals to first apply for asylum in Mexico. This exposes them to grave dangers like extortion, gang violence, and the terrifying possibility of enforced disappearances. Mexico's record of over 100,000 disappearances since 1964, with a significant number being desperate migrants, is chilling. When the United States sends these people back to such dangerous situations, they unknowingly contribute to this grim cycle. On this significant day, we as a global collective must rally for genuine, compassionate reform. Organizations worldwide are echoing a unified call for policies that enshrine the inherent right to seek refuge. Addressing and combating enforced disappearances is not just a moral directive, but a testament to the very principles America represents. Migration embodies the unyielding drive of the human spirit in its pursuit of hope and a brighter tomorrow. Will you join us in urging the Biden administration to take stronger action to halt the disappearances of activists, human rights defenders, asylum seekers, and other people fighting for their dignity and a better life? Merely remembering the victims of enforced disappearance once a year doesn't suffice. To generally honor their memory and rectify the wrongs they face, we must strive to prevent such violations from ever happening again. Visit uusc.org slash migration advocacy to take one or both migration justice actions in support of those exercising their right to migrate.